And good evening, interlopers and gra. <laughs> we are back for another exciting episode of One Hopes of No Man's Sky, where Drew Wager will attempt to complete the expedition and actually complete something. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Let's see how it goes. Ah, dear. How are we all? Welcome back to Thursday. It's always good to be on Thursday because Thursday is one of those days, isn't it? It's just like, ah, it's not Friday. <laughs> What's the point of Thursdays? <laughs> <laughs> it's just not Friday, is it? But at least Thursday evening, right? We can look for tomorrow is Friday, so it's just like one more day, and then yeah, the weekend arrives. <laughs> uh, but anyway, lovely to see you all. Obviously, well, fantastic to be here once again. Commander JR nineteen eighty eight is here. Nim just screen is here. Julie's here. Skim Sky Marad. That's a good name. I might pinch that. Sky Marad is here. Um, Ricochet parent parent parentophobia. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, shiny red flag, Mad Banks off, Wintermute GB, Commander Calvinator, Julia is here. Excellent. Thea Grills is here. Obby Skrill is here. Winnie1974 is here. Mad Banks off is here. And Ice Storm Raider is here as well. Fantastic. Brilliant stuff. Lovely to see you all. Lovely to see you. Frank, thank you very much for coming. And a warm welcome to Thursday evenings and a bit more No Man's Sky. Now, the objective today. Oh, and J69713PB is here as well. His own. <laughs> Very snappy middle name, that. <laughs> but on Friday, Monday, it's just two days away now. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that now. Thursday kind of is the weekend. I remember actually somebody, yeah, yeah, here we go. First first waffle of the evening. Um, somebody basically saying that there's, um, there's only a limited amount of time you can actually do work because, of course, Mondays, you're basically, you're recovering from the weekend. So that's an entire write-off, okay? Um, Tuesday, you're thinking about how much work you didn't get done on Monday and you're panicking about it. So Tuesday is a bit of a write-off. Wednesday, well, you actually get down and do some work on Wednesdays. Uh, Thursdays, of course, is nearly Friday. So, I mean, what's the point of doing any work? And Friday, of course, is pretty much the weekend. So there's no point doing any work anyway. So actually, there's only one productive day of the week and that's Wednesday. <laughs> Lots of people I've worked with in my life will definitely be, will definitely fit that pattern, trust me. Ah uh, dear, there we go. Um, <coughs> good afternoon. Uh, this is nothing to me. I must work. Osland, yeah, carry on. Well done for working. Um, uh, Wintermute GB, I saw a great mug on TV today with a message, Alexa changed to Friday. <laughs> I haven't seen Commander O'Connor this evening, be so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Can't do the old Alexa thing, but he's he's, he's spoiling my fun by switching his Alexa off <laughs> before he even comes on stream. Uh, but there we go. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> when he switched his off as well, fantastic. Ah <laughs> uh, dear, never mind. Never mind. Anyway, lovely to see you all. Lovely to see you all. now. Now it is time for me to try and attempt to finish this expedition. This is this is stream four, I think, of the expedition. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes, we've got Alexa. <laughs> Alexa, would you like some toast? <laughs> um, oh, funnily enough, um, in order to avoid confusion in my household, we've reprogrammed one of our Alexas to, to respond to computer. So we can differentiate because they're quite near each other and sometimes they have it both go off at the same time, which is a bit irritating. So one's called Alexa and one's called computer. Um, and of course, <laughs> you were watching an episode of Deep Space Nine the other day. Um, <laughs> And, and yeah, as you're watching it, as they go into, I don't know, some hollow thing or onto the control deck or ops or whatever they call it. Uh, <laughs> Winnie 1974, no bagels, no crumpets, you <laughs> uh, If anybody has got an Alexa and hasn't tried asking it whether it wants some toast, that's worth knowing. But anyway, so I was, of course, responding to the computer. And of course, you know, there goes Cisco. <laughs> computer, do this. And our Alexa thing goes off and goes, I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> in the middle of the program, <laughs> which was quite funny. Um, yeah, my ST geekiness betrays you. It does into, I would name one slightly but fast. Yes, alas, you can't custom, well, at least I don't think you couldn't last time I tried. You've got a limited number of command words they will respond to. I presume that's for safety reasons. <laughs> because, you know, <laughs> I don't know what people would call their Alexa given the freedom of choice. Um, Booty McBootface, which would be something like that. Anyway, never mind. Right. Um, <coughs> um, so I have done a bit of work, as, as recommended by you wonderful people on the stream. Um, I've done a bit of work since last time. So we, so behold, behold my the, the greatness of... Uh, oh, here we go. We've just restarted the, the world. And um, <laughs> everything's horrible. It's raining poisonous fumes, etc., etc., etc. Right, let's take a back about that. Now, I built myself one of these, okay, look. I built myself a, well, a ground-thumping machine. 
which it's, it's a mineral extractor that took me a while to sort out but I went I went and figured that out uh, and it's powered by a very basic electrical setup as you can see uh, through, through the gloom and the Merc um, which is a couple uh, three solar panels and a, a battery just to kind of keep it going now I've done all that stuff okay so that took about four hours of kind of combined time yeah <laughs> thumb pump trying to attract sandworms yeah um, I have there are sandworms in the game aren't there I haven't seen one yet um, anyway so let me show you where I got to because um, the expedition so phase one if you remember I have completed achievement unlocked phase two uh, I have completed achievement unlocked. <laughs> Phase three, finally, yes, achievement unlocked. Look, there we go. I did the uh, a thousand mineral thing extracted. Okay, so yes, I've done that. Um, that that's a good thing. Uh, phase four is complete as well. So I've done all that sort of stuff. The only thing I haven't done is well, phase five and the final phase, which. Um, so phase five has got four more things to do, and the final phase. I don't know if that's a thing or whether that's just the end. <laughs> so maybe somebody could tell me. Um, so phase five, the next thing I've got to do is rendezvous one, which of course got me singing jean Michel jean, jean straight away. Um, bam, 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 bam. Although that's actually rendezvous four, but never mind. Um, <laughs> for those of you who like 80s, is it 80s? Yeah, it is 80s, isn't it? 80s, 80s sort of synth pop music. Um, Jean Michel Jarre, very well recommended. Good space flight music. Okay, so phase phase five isn't a thing. Phase phase four is a film about ants. Ah, <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh dear. Yep, there are sandworms. You can't interact with them, unfortunately. Hopefully, in the future. Um, so uh, anyway, so I've got rid of that thing from phase four. So we are in phase five. Looks, so I feel like I've done I've done I've done some stuff. Um, now rendezvous four, well rendezvous one rather. <laughs> I've said rendezvous four. <laughs> uh, I've got Jean Bouchard Jean on the brain now. Um, uh, is um, something I've, I've got to do, and I've got three days now to fix this, um, finish this um, this expedition. Otherwise, I presume it times out. Um, Kesinik says I love the Docklands Scots. Were you there, Kesinik? Because I was as well. Nin was it 1988? Um, I was there um, at, um, oh, there we go, fantastic. Uh, uh, Skymarad was there as well, awesome. So there we go, a few of us, Docklands, <laughs> London Docklands fan for Jean Bichon Jean. That's very cool. Anyway, so that thing, I think I can just leave doing its thing. Now, um, what I'm not entirely sure is how I go about finding Rendezvous 1. Each expedition has several marked rendezvous points. A suggested path to the rendezvous is marked on the galaxy map. A significant journey may be required to reach the rendezvous. Does that mean I've got a hyperspace and warp drive and stuff? The rendezvous are destinations you need to get to. One is in your system and two is out of system. Expedition rendezvous system located. Reach the rendezvous point. Okay, so, ah, oh, look, okay, there it is up there. Right, so basically I don't, this needs to be, that's just a hop in a spaceship, surely. Wintermute destinations, Dockland, October 1988. I was there as well. Wow, there's loads of us who were... <laughs> That's really weird. Loads of us who were at Docklands and we never knew. And in, and how many years? How many years is it since 1988? It's lots, isn't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> wow, that's cool, isn't it? There's like three or four of us already on the stream, who uh, <laughs> at the same concert. Uh, brilliant. Um, ba -ba 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 That's brilliant music. Um. I must admit, I do prefer his slightly earlier stuff. I liked Oxygen and Equinox better. Um, did you get the Did you get the recent? Um, um, I suppose I can just summon my ship here, can't I? Actually, um, I can just go up this ramp and summon it to one of these pads. Um, I don't actually know where my spaceship is. Maybe it's even up here. <laughs> I forgot where I left it. Never mind. We'll summon it. Um, yeah, I prefer the earlier stuff, the Oxygen and Equinox. And actually I bought, or I was given, I think, for Christmas or birthday or something, um, the most recent Equinox album, um, which I did actually really enjoy. So that was quite good. I got it on vinyl to, to do the whole proper retro thing. So that, that was good. Um, sounds better on vinyl. I know it doesn't really, but it, it feels like it sounds better on vinyl, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Right, let's summon my ship to my pad and let's go off world. We haven't been off world for a long time. 
called Starship Starbug, which isn't working. Oh, that's because I don't know where. Oh, it's <laughs> it's already there. <laughs> um, too many of us. Too, a brilliant concert. I bought the album to Magnetic Fields. Uh, yeah, the New Oxygen is good as well. Yes, I've got that one. Um, and I noticed the other day that all the trophies for No, uh, no Man's Sky are named for other sci-fi works like Foundation Use of Weapons. Yes, they are, which is which is quite cool. Um, now, somebody, this is Starbug. <laughs> somebody suggested I also could, should call it Slave One because it's a bit reminiscent of um, the Star Wars ship, which it kind of is. Um, so, but Starbug, I mean, it's more lighthearted. Uh, there we go. Right, so in that case, let's get off this actually not very nice planet and go and have a look see what's see what's up in space oxygen is still the best yeah there's something about that um thing i can just listen to the whole thing and it's kind of just takes me i think i associate oxygen with um i don't know kind of carl sagan's cosmos and things like that um and it's just got that lovely ethereal otherworldly spacey sort of deep space kind of vibe to it which i've i must admit i just love um Right, we're in space. Let's let's go. Engage pulse engine. Boom. Right. <coughs> Hydro, I've never asked about the hat. Where's it from? What's the story? It never leaves your head. Oh, it's just uh, yeah. I can't remember where that stuff. I've always worn hats out and about. Um, I just um, mostly for practical reasons because. Um, you know, um, as I've got older, you know, the, 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 the hair follicles have given up the ghost. Um, and um, but my 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 dad died of skin cancer. Um, and so um, which isn't actually a very good way to go, to be honest. So it's it's worth avoiding if you can. And um, hence a hat for kind of outdoors activity just slowly became part of my natural attire. And then um, I suppose on um, I don't know. Some, a lot of writers have hats. <laughs> Seems to be a thing. <laughs> um, and um, I don't know. I just, <laughs> just when I started streaming, I don't know if I had the hat when I really, really early started streaming. But it turned up fairly soon afterwards, and it's just then become a feature. And then I started decorating the hats with um, pin badges that were relative, or you know, kind of related to the thing I was streaming about. And it sort of just sort of stuck. So, and if I don't go to conventions and things without, if I go to conventions and things without my hat, nobody knows who I am, <laughs> which gives me kind of an anonymity thing if I want it. Uh, whereas if I wear my hat, everyone kind of homes in. Oh, it's Drew. Hello. You know, which is which is quite nice as well. So it's kind of I don't know. It's just part of the uniform now. Um, um, so um, uh, Rendezvous One's on the nicest planet in the system, which is a low bar. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Rendezvous One. This is the nice planet, is it? Doesn't look very nice. It looks pretty desolate, but there we go. Okay, so let's land down on here. There are some flying things. We have an atmosphere. And we're down. External temperature 28.7. That's a bit nicer than the planets we have been on. <coughs> and jumping off. Now this is something I've noticed recently No Man's Sky seems to be pausing for quite a long time when it does a save point. I don't know if that's a new thing. Um, it's, I don't know, it just seems to be a thing. Uh, it never used to pause when it did a save. Is that is that normal for No Man's Sky? Um, so I don't know. Um, I suffer from challenge follicles as well. Sorry about your dad. Cancer is no friend of mine. No, I know. Ah oh, yes, of course. Jenna Wiggler, Commander Evelyn. Yes. Um, um, yeah, very sad, sad tale. Lovely to have you on the stream, though. Thank you very much for coming. I appreciate that. Um, uh, yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, a little while back we wrote a, um, well, I wrote a, an Elite Dangerous uh, story for Evelyn, and uh, uh, Frontier were kind enough to put a star in the game uh, for commanders to go and visit. So you can you can find Evelyn Star. I think you can search for it on the, the galactic map. Search for Evelyn Star and go and visit in game, which is which is very cool. There's a little. POI there for you to go and investigate as well, which is which is which is awesome, which is awesome, which is really good. Um, so um, yeah, so right, okay, so we're on a planet. Look at the the ground is. I love the way they do the ground in No Man's Sky. It just, I mean, it's obviously repeating textures, but it just works. It's 
it's really neat. So that looks like a um, kind of destination thing. So how do I find the rendezvous? Is that an F thing? Target aligned. That kind of looks like it. It's quite a long way off though. So can I summon my can I summon my car? No, wrong button. Um, no. Oh, I need a summoning station. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to walk then. Um, I suppose I might as well scan some things while I'm here. Oh, oh now I've got multiple modes, haven't I? They've added quite a lot to the game here, um, which is which is excellent. Let's scan a few things over here because. Why not? There's a flappy thing. Come on. Come on, scan. Here we go, got you. Okay, so that one looks like it's got oxygen in it, so let's zap it. The ground in No Man's Sky does look great. Yeah, it's not like melted chocolate. <laughs> Um, you'll get me into trouble. <laughs> Let's stop it. <laughs> yes, again, say targets. With that, that presumably is the target. That great big obelisk thing that's sort of standing there. So let's go and have a look at that. There's oh, quite a few things to scan. So I, everybody tells me off for not scanning. So I'll, I'm going to do my best to scan. There we go. I'm going to scan at least some of the alien life forms because free money, right? Um, I wish it stayed in the mode you were in, however. Um, never mind. Right, let's wander off up here. Um, I think this expedition is a way of getting people to try out the parts of the game that you might not be familiar with. Yeah, so that's that's not a bad call. See, this ground does look really good. It just it's varied. It's got different types of rocks floating about it. Feels like you are. Look at those things. <laughs> I scan those ones. Yes. Aliens are really kind of weird, aren't they? Um, Jello Wiggler says, Heart Drew Wiggler after. Yes, well, hey, um, Jello Wiggler, it was an absolute pleasure and a privilege. So, um, you know, if, if we can, in, even in small ways, um, you know, allow people to remember other people and things, that's, um, that other, yeah, that's a good thing to do. <coughs> It's like those damn monkeys from Wizard of Oz. <laughs> uh, whenever you spawn a vehicle, call it first, then delete the summoning plate. Oh, okay, that's quite a cunning plan. Maybe I should have tried that anyway. We're almost there now. And the character animation does, apart from you just clipped through a few things, he does pretty well in following the flow of the ground. It does look like he's actually striding over this terrain. Um, you know, falling down gaps and stings. Wow, look at that. That is a huge installation, isn't it? Very impressive. And look at, uh, of course, I didn't realise that background was actually a planet there. Look, that's, <laughs> that's an amazing view, really. I suspect this moon might be quite close to the Roche limit for, uh, <laughs> for uh, astronomical realism, but... Um, uh, we don't need to worry about that sort of stuff in No Man's Sky. It is big, isn't it? Um, <coughs> I don't know how much of the interior of that we're actually able to explore, but we'll find out when we get there. Activated target, target sweep. I think we probably found it. What do you reckon? <laughs> it's definitely... Oh, <laughs> apart from creatures getting you the camera. Um, oh, look, I could have landed over there. Look. Or maybe I can summon my spaceship back in a minute. Um, <coughs> apologies for the slight cough, by the way. I've, I'm still not quite recovered from a quite a nasty cold, actually, I've had the last few days. Uh, so my voice is still a tiny bit croaky. Okay, I don't think I've set... There we go, we've got to finalise that. Presumably that is the signal. Mission objective located. It's up there. So yeah, this is a massive base, isn't it? OK. 
Okay, so am I going up or is it? There we go. Reached the first rendezvous. That was fairly straightforward. Um, <coughs> actually, looks like he's standing on the ground and not levitating. Yeah, he's, they've done a good job. I mean, even if you look from it from the side and stuff, it when he's climbing things, he does. And the, the running animation does look quite good. It sort of feels all right. Um, so okay, so I'm here. Is there anything to actually kind of do here? Because it looks like there should be. <laughs> Oh, okay, this is the same sort of basis. We've seen that sort of thing with the sort of data terminal thing over there before. Right, okay, so now it's pushed us on to the next thing. Repair the ships. <laughs> um, right, so I can click my reward. What do I get for that? Five thousand, five million units. Wow, that's actually worth having. 512 nanites too, that's nice. Nice reward. Happy with that. <coughs> yeah, expedition, yes. Um, Still the expedition, so I'm hoping I'll be able to complete it. Let's see how we're doing. So I've got to right. If we've done that, auto diagnostics, repair the frame shift drive. In fact, I've called it the frame shift drive. Oops. <laughs> Arr, stop! 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 Um, don't leave without getting the law. Okay, is there some law to be had? Um, right. So I'm going to need to repair that in a minute. Where's the law to be had? I think it was suggested that some of the EDO issues stem from problems with the players and NPCs interacting with the nav mesh of the plants and buildings. Oh, technical stuff. Um, there is a change terminal. Is there anything here? I have no idea whether I might need some of this stuff or not at the moment. Repair that friendship catapult. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the next thing, isn't it? So what have I got to do here? OK, so I've done a bit of this. Um, I've done the ionized cobalt. I've done the Gravitino ball and I need a larval, well, I need three larval calls according to that. Um, so, how do I do, find or purchase a larval core? So, the chance of there being one for sale are, of course, zero. Wouldn't be that easy, would it? Could have bought a, a Gravitino ball here, though. But I've done that bit. So, these larval. Larval things. Larval cores will be trouble, says Skim Murad. <laughs> uh, the, the center of the building. Okay, let's. Um, I like this. This animation. I just like this. There's got a lot of. There are force fields. Actually, look at that. That's really quite nice. Um, so this is the planetary repository. I haven't learned any languages here. So I can't read. The Corvax is tended for its own species. Ancient audio equipment, drones in low frequency. Expecting a command. All I can do is click there. Archive access granted. Ooh, OK. The entry is titled Disconnection. It contains the manifest will of ancient Corvax echoes. Cool. Mm. We are, we are not a hive mind, we are not individuals, we are in between. This is the Corvax, of course. Wowzers. It's very poetic, No End Sky. I, 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 I like that. It's kind of mysterious and slightly creepy and makes you feel oh, how everything's gone horrible. Um, Coming up with the Marvel Chords. Marvel Chords. Use the monitor to scan for abandoned buildings. Lava cores from us, not sinister at all, whispering eggs. <laughs> whispering eggs, I don't like the sound of that. Um, okay, <coughs> for abandoned buildings, so I need my minotaur, so I better go and find my minotaur. Let's get back down here and then I can summon my. Oh, yeah, it's horrible out here now. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to build a Minotaur Geobay, presumably, which I haven't got enough stuff to build. <sighs> eh. um, Pilgrim can, though. Okay, so what about a Pilgrim Geobay? I can build one of them. Let's bring that here, then. That's not my Pilgrim. What's that? Oh, it is. No, it's not. That's something else. Okay. Anyway, I've got one of them. Um, has it got a scanner? No scan technology installed. 
so does that mean I need to install one? <coughs> I need some chromatic metal. Right, so I need some chromatic metal which I haven't got. Have I not got any of that at all? Apparently not. I thought I had some of that. What about my starship? Has that got any on it? No. You can also use planetary chart for distress signals to search for abandoned build. Okay, that's. I think I've got a planetary chart. Yeah, I've got two planetary charts. So what do I do with that? Plot root. Shadow Wyman says you can use a planetary chart for distress signals to search for abandoned buildings. So do I just press that? Press E? Been a while since I popped into Drew playing No Man's Sky. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I use the scanners on the road. Why have I? I have to say, um, I thought I was going to build a. I thought I don't, I don't think I've even seen that bike before. Um, that's the Roma. Where's my little hovercraft's gone? I can't summon either. I don't think because nomad. Eh? I wanted my nomad, but I can't build a nomad. Um, I think that one finds ruins. Uh, Chances are hit or miss since they can find multiple different types of distress signals. Okay, so that may or may not work. <coughs> so, is it worth a try? Since I've got some, I've got two in the starship actually. So let's wander back over that way. Or I could just summon it here, couldn't I? Think about it. Let's do that. That'll be quicker. Where's the nearest ship pad is out there? Up we go, here we go. Right. Where's the where's the summoning pad? Is that it? Uh, right, let's have a look then. Let's have a look at the planetary chart plot route. I like that effect. Is it just going to... Okay, so that's picked up a supply depot, which presumably is not what I want. Oh, that, okay, so these are not the right type of planetary charts. Oh, it tells me the type of chart. Okay, so that's just for other stuff. Um... And the ones I've got in my thing are that one's an ancient artifact site has been marked, and that one is a site secure site of interest. Okay, and that's telling me a similar building has already been marked. Okay, let's just try that one because why not? Alien model left detected. Yes, yeah, so it's not going to give me what I need. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm looking for is an abandoned building, but I don't know how to find one. Um, the one you want says distress signals. Okay, so I haven't got one of them. Um, can I buy a planetary chart from here? Is that doable? Do any of these guys have things for sale? What's this guy got? Technology merchant. this local information repository would that happen print chart the splinter planetary chart uh. okay you can buy the stress signal planetary chart from a space station or vendor using navigational data okay so are there any vendors here there doesn't seem to be Ah, oh, there is a guy here. Is he useful? Envoy Murray, I don't know. He's a member of the Explorers. They don't seem to be interested in the data I have to offer. Okay, so uh, I haven't got enough reputation or rank or something with him. Uh, Bad Sid 64 just subscribed. Thank you very much for that, Bad Sid 64. Good to see you. Hmm. Uh, <coughs> 
We can get a random chart using notes like that at the terminal you were at. Okay, let's let's try that and see if the RNG likes us, because who knows? It'd be nice to have a distress signal. Okay, so a print chart. I've got plenty of nanites. It's doing some stuff. Printing complete. What's it given me? It's given me a planetary chart, but it has given me another, presumably another ancient artifact one, but I look at that. Or is it put it somewhere else? Uh, see, that one's already, already marked. Your best bet is just to install the advanced signal scanner in the Pilgrim. At least RNG. Okay, so... Okay, so the Pilgrim was the bike. Let's go and do that then. Where did I leave the bike? Down there. Yeah, see, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of RNG. <laughs> Let's hop in the Pilgrim. What do I need again? I need some... Uh, I think it was chromatic metal, wasn't it? So it's not the signal booster, so do I need to dismantle that? The advanced signal scanner is what I actually want. Okay. So I've got that. I need chromatic advanced... That one. I need... That I've got, that I've got, chromatic metal I haven't got. Okay, so can I buy chromatic metal? Or do I need to buy stack loads of, how much copper have I got by the way? Because copper is the chromatic metal thing, isn't it? Eh, copper, 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 copper. Copper five. <laughs> Starship, I haven't got any there either. So let's go and see if there's anything for sale. How do I get back up? Where's the stairs? <laughs> I've lost the stairs. No, that's not the stairs. Uh, oh, I've got all turned about. Um, bum, 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 bum. One is a scanner, the other is a booster. Okay. Right, let's get back up. See if I can buy some stuff. Oh, just jump right over there. Right, up we go. One is a scanner, and the other is a booster. You'll need both. The advanced booster is an add-on. Okay, so I need... <laughs> right, okay, so basically both of those needed a lot of chromatic metal. So is there any for sale? Or am I going to have to go off and do that again? Uh, bum, bum. No. Okay. <coughs> There isn't any, so I'm going to have to go and stock up on a load of chromat of copper and go back and refine it. I wonder if there's any. Yeah, a copper deposit. Yep, that's what I was thinking. All right, so let's do a scan. Sodium. Is there any copper about? any deposits of anything buried technology modules copper deposits boom sorted there we go let's drive over there then oh, i've got a space bike not not oh i can't go through that hole <laughs> this is a bit Now, I, I feel we need, I'm not <laughs> very good at driving this, um, I feel we need a bit of Tangerine Dream now. Uh, <laughs> who gets the Tangerine Dream reference? Delete the Geo Bay to get the resources back. Your extra craft won't disappear. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, lucky plants. Right, there we go, copper deposits, so. Let's go for the mining terrain manipulator. Nice big copper deposit, that's what we want. Actually, it's not huge, but will it be enough? It's not, ooh, it's not gonna be big enough, is it? Gonna find, have to find a second one. Where's the rest of the copper? 
Okay, how much copper did that give me? 138, I need 150, so no, not enough. Mm. I'm gonna have to find another one. Magnetized ferret deposit. Copper deposit, there we go. Not too far away. Um, um, easy rider reference. <coughs> could just fly around to scan for buildings. Yeah, I could do that as well. Um, I'd rather go there. Yeah, so Tangerine Dream. So the Tangerine Dream was um, reference to um, uh, Street Hawk. Who remembers Street Hawk from the eighties? A <laughs> magnetized ferret. Is that what I said? Sorry. <laughs> uh, dear. Small deposits, which is a bit annoying. I suppose better than nothing. Yeah, see, that's still not quite enough, is it? Oh. Magnetized ferret. There we are. <laughs> Pyrite. <laughs> Pyrite. Copper. Get over there. Street Hawk Le Park. That's it. Well done, Sky Mirai. That was it. Oh, I've just driven over a critter. I think he appreciated that. Oh, there's another. Is that copper there? No, that's pyrite. Okay, so that's no good. Pyrite, of course, is fool's gold. I don't know what use that would be. There's another base thing. So, what's all that for? I don't know what that's for. Hmm. Oh well, never mind. Um, unfeasibly fast bike. Yes, it was all a bit um, airwolf on the ground, really, wasn't it? Copper deposit. That doesn't look like a copper deposit. What's happened there? <coughs> was it just? Here is it. Sort of here, but not here. That's a bit, a bit weird. Is it too close to the building? Maybe that's a bit of a nuisance. That's one a bit further away. <sighs> Use your scanner. I think the building, yeah, I got the feeling the building displaced it. Too close to the building. Anyway, this one's only like a minute away. Seems to be quite a lot of copper about, which is good. Fool's copper, yeah. <laughs> what was it? Do, 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 do. That one, the park, very good feel. Tangerine Dream or Orange Nightmare, as my dad used to nickname them. He wasn't a big fan of my type of music. <laughs> right, let's zap this one. So apparently I can, uh, Julia says I can um, get more by doing an arrow beam, but it takes longer. I've run out of puff in my... Melty tool. That this should be big enough. There's loads here, which is really nice. So that's good. <coughs> I still think this ability to shoot holes in the ground of a planet is just absolutely fabulous. It just really adds so much to the sense of being here and being able to do stuff that you can deform the structure of the world and I know it's kind of not quite permanent because it sort of regenerates but it's still very very cool um, right so uh, we have now got loads and loads of <laughs> 782 copper right so I might as well can I build a portable refiner here yeah yes I'm available to build two bit no, too close to me all right, let's just whack some carbon in it and let's just do this thing. <coughs> um, uh, copper, 
copper, copper. Where's my copper? It's next to the ferrets. Here we go, whack it in there. Let's have some of that. Right, job done. Um, <laughs> uncanny. <laughs> I have to do a MIDI file for you. I used to, I used to, I haven't done some MIDI files for quite a few weeks now. I used to do MIDI files of, of things. Now the the beauty of MIDI files for those who don't even know what a MIDI file is because it's quite old tech now, um, is that um, you can kind of make cover versions of songs without them actually being the real song. Um, so I can actually play them and get away with putting them into my streams, and I don't get copyright infringement because it's technically a cover version which you are allowed under fair use. Um, <laughs> so I can actually play them myself, uh, which is quite good fun. Um, aren't the larval cores on the starting planet? I've no idea. We'll find out, we'll find out. Um, right, so I think I need 150 we decided, didn't we? So let's stop processing in a moment. See if I can get this exactly on 150 because... Space reflexes, there we are. Look at that. Um, although I didn't take them out. So uh, let's put them in the exosuit. That should allow us to make the thingamajig for the exocraft. So I need both boosters, you're saying. So let's do the signal booster. And the microprocessor. X signal booster installed. And let's now do this one. So ion battery, microprocessor, and the chromatic metal. Ta-da! Yes, so we've now got both. So presumably I then need to hop in, hop in the bike and scan. Has that worked? <coughs> Abandoned building, how would I know? Copper deposits. Am I looking for something in particular? How do I use the scanner to find a building? I'm confused. Quick menu. Ah, right. Sorry, I should know all this stuff by now. Exocraft signal booster. Scan for depot. Scan for drop. Scan for abandoned structures. Boom. Abandoned signal detected. Nice. Arrive in three hours and thirty minutes. I think that's a case of back to the cut, the back to the spaceship. Then, isn't it? Okay. Right. So, where is the spaceship? Uh, spaceship. Spaceship. There it is. Right. Off we go. <coughs> thank you for that, Shadow Wyvern, um, and thank you for that, Julie. Quick menu and Julia as well. It was actually Julia was there first. Well done, Julia. Uh, <laughs> I got a lovely comment on my Discord this week, <laughs> which was, um, um, <laughs> I won't embarrass them by saying their name out, which just made me chuckle. Um, I enjoy your streams, Drew. You're quite funny for an old guy. <laughs> right, let's go and reclaim my material. <laughs> quite funny for an old guy. Ah, uh, dear. <laughs> Um, right, where's that? Where's that thing that I made? I thought it was around here somewhere. There it is. There it is. Right. Let's let's uh, let's hop out. Um, I guess I am. I'm quite funny for an old guy. <laughs> uh, quite amusing. Right. How do I select part? Edit place parts. How do I? In the olden days, you used to be able to press shift or something, didn't you? How do I dismantle the? I thought it was on here. Edit place parts, is that how I do it? Do I just zap it? No, I forgot. how do I delete it? I don't look a day over 30. <laughs> see, the, see the next. Oh, it's gone. I'm not quite sure what I did there. Did I put it in my backpack? Uh, apparently not. I don't know what I did with it there. Anyway, it's gone. Um, <coughs> presume it's okay just to leave my bike there, is it? Uh, where's my spaceship? Um, it's up there somewhere. Right, let's jump up here then. Build menu, see the next. Build menu, Z, C, 
and then oh I see X right nothing to delete okay right that's a bit more complicated than it used to be um, I have dismantled it good <laughs> I did something right yay because <coughs> other old guys are not very funny yeah I'll battle the wicked says low I saw that yes <laughs> it's like quite funny for an old guy yay <laughs> hello fellow kids <laughs> Ah uh, dear, what can you do? Oh, I'll just jump back out the ship. Don't, 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 back in the ship. The ship says, make your mind up, Drew. Right, um, where is the target? There it is. Right, arrive in 1715. Oh, actually, it was only three minutes away. I, th I read that as three hours. Oh, I could have driven over there in the bike. Never mind. It's not very far away, so that's good. So here's an abandoned building. Let's check it out. <coughs> Find or purchase a larval core. Activated target targets. Why is it not landing? Ah, it is landing. Clearly um, <laughs> because I've had so many years to refine and sharpen your wit. Absolutely, that's precisely what I was going to say. Okay, so an abandoned building. Destination reached. Yep. So what am I supposed to do inside the abandoned building? This is Larval cores are the pungent gooey hearts of whispering eggs, often found laid in airless plants or around aband around abandoned buildings. Caution, monstrous broods will guard their larvae fiercely. I don't like the sound of this. Okay, whispering egg. Oh, okay, so those are whispering eggs. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Was it one of those kind of hanging underneath the ground kind of monsters? Okay, so I there's a due sense of trepidation about to happen here. Um, I hate these. I usually dig a hole under the. <laughs> well. I'm not gonna, let's let's do this without spoilers first. What's going to happen? I haven't even got a gun. Uh, save, save, save. Okay, there will be. <laughs> All right, so hang on. I've just jumped in there of my ship. So doesn't that count as a save? Um, shoot the eggs. Okay. But I haven't even got a gun. Have I got a gun? I don't think I have. Oh, I have got. No, I've got a dazzling lens optic. Supreme upgrade. Overloaded, I've not though. Overloaded futon mirror. Uh, I've got a mining beam and a train. I haven't got the gun. Um, actually, it looks. <coughs> Shoot the eggs. Use the mining laser on the eggs. Right. No. Oh, okay. Well, that's biological. Oh, I don't like the look of that in the ship. Okay, so. A whole bunch of nasties have appeared, <laughs> which are clearly aware that I'm in the ship. <laughs> I need three eggs. Right, okay, so I'm going to just have to leg it out. Out. Okay, that doesn't. I pick these things up? Where? There. No, oh, these things are nasty. Okay. Critical damage taken. Yeah, that isn't nice at all. This is like aliens. <laughs> Just got to splat them. Ah, where's it? Oh, there's loads of them. Swarm subsiding. Are there any more of them? Oh, there's one somewhere else. Where is it? Yeah. I 
I didn't even see the thing that I had to pick up. Okay, now let's, ah, so it does more of them. Ugh. Okay, so let's hide in here, see if that works. Can they get in through the door? <laughs> they can't get in through the door. Okay. <laughs> Love the way they go bang. That's awesome. Oh, you only have a couple of seconds to grab the larval core, and then it... Oh, blimey. Okay. Otherwise, I'm just stuck in here shooting. So, basically, what they're saying is that those larval cores are... Oh, they don't hang around very long. Right. Okay. So, I need to... I need to get some more health back then. So, how am I going to do that? Can I recharge it's not life support is it how do I someone remind me how how do I recharge the health okay you have a couple of things to grab locker when you pop the egg the larval core disappears quite quickly I got gotcha. you okay uh, once the once the okay the wishbringer is in last first aid kit where do I get a first aid kit from don't think I've got any with me <coughs> Might be a health pack in the building. Okay, let's have a look around. Condensed carbon. Great. That was that was very cool. That was quite unpleasant, but it was very cool. Okay, so projectile ammunition. That's not helpful. Condensed carbon. So no is the answer to that. Ion batteries. A forsaken terminal. <laughs> it's a door that doesn't open. Okay, there doesn't appear to be anything. What's this thing? Is that useful? Was that just a some kind of decoration? Okay. No, white boxes you find on the ground. Okay, so no sign of any first aid. So these things are going to do me in at the moment because I've only just about survived there. Um, <coughs> plenty of eggs about. But every time I shoot one, there's a base over there. Let's just check that one in case there's anything over there. Um, is there anything worth having? Oh, there's a white one there. Ooh. Is that what we need? Exahoot so health restored. Right, okay. So, <clears throat> okay, so basically, I've got to figure a way of getting these eggs without being killed. <laughs> so, can I shoot them quickly enough and then run up there? Is that viable? Um, I haven't got much in the way. Right, how much health did I restore to my exosuit? Is it is it fully restored by doing that or not? Uh, eating meat can also test. You just have to find some. Yeah, so I haven't got. I don't think I've got any edible stuff. Shoot egg with laser. Grab lava core. Jetpack onto building roof. Okay, let's try that. How do I pick it up? Ah, there we go. Where's it gone? Ah, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Ah. Whoa, what happened there? <laughs> that went really badly wrong. <laughs> I think I died. Um, okay. Psst, that didn't go well. Oh. Ah, it looked like it crashed my game as well. Um, it did. Oh, that wasn't bad. That's the first time I've had a No Man's Sky crash in all these weeks. Um, I got sky. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Eh -eh. Um, shoot, shoot egg with laser, grab. Right, super double dead then. Yes, it killed me off. Okay, dig a hole under them, shoot them, and they roll down to you. That's quite cunning. 
That is a very cunning idea. Appropriate quote it was, wasn't it? All right. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> well, I quite like it. It's a good challenge. Those those alien critters are. <coughs> Let's see how this goes. I'm going to have to reload the game. What? 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 A fine death. Yeah. Well, actually, it's I, I, it's interesting. Actually, in modern games, I hardly ever die nowadays. Um, whereas, I don't, if you've been following me with my Wing Commander One series a few, on, on Saturdays for a few weeks, you, you know, the old games kill you virtually every week, you know, all the time, every few minutes. Um, takes ages to figure out how not to die. Um, Exocraft also auto kill them. So if you park one next to the eggs, you can harvest the egg. Ah, okay. You can harvest the eggs and get in and run them over. Okay, so that's quite a good idea. Um, okay, so it's just literally staying alive long enough. All right, so let's try that then. <laughs> I like it. A challenge. Yes, a challenge. <coughs> just need to get back in the game. Ah, new plan. Yes. <laughs> Dig a hole under them, shoot them, and they roll down to you. Okay, so uh, Stumpy73, that's what I do. Okay, Exocraft auto kills them. If you park the one next to the eggs, you can harvest the egg. Okay. Does it, you, do you mean shoot them, shoot the eggs from the Exocraft? Because I don't think I've got a laser on that Exocraft, but. Um, mm. Oh, excuse me. That was um, <laughs> that was quite cool, though. I did enjoy that. Run them over, roadkill. Okay, so just okay. So shoot, basically, get out of the exocraft, shoot the egg, grab the thing, jump back into the exocraft. Stumpy said, "Okay, so <laughs> shoot egg, grab core, jump in craft, and then run over." Right. Okay, I shall try that. Um, if you shoot the egg with the extra craft, you won't be able to pick up the larval core with E. Right, okay. You have to be out of the craft to grab the core, so park up, pop egg, grab core, jump across. Right. <sighs> this is gonna require me, this is gonna require something of my my, my aging my aging Twitch gaming skills. <laughs> it's kind of it's this is Jet Set Willy all over again. This is Manic Miner. <laughs> kind of level of skill we're talking about here. Dear oh dear. <coughs> right. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see if we can do this. Uh, come on, game, get me back in. Um, don't panic, right? Although jumping on the roof is reminiscent of jetpack. I suppose it is actually. Yes, I quite, I quite like the. Right, so here we go. Death event iteration reset. Returning to death location may recover some items. Where's my, where's my death location then? Oh, over there. I've got. A, I've got my own gravestone. Right, let's see if we can pick up some of our bits. Oh, look, there's even a grave. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so it's given me all my stuff. That's quite a nice touch. Right, so, all right, let's go get the... So I don't lose all my gear. Where is where's my oh I haven't I've got my ugh. of course I haven't got my pilgrim here have I so let's bring that here summon the pilgrim here zoop right okay let's drive over to the thingies which is sort of there right okay. So basically I've got to shoot E and then turn around and zap the other things. Ah, yeah, one right in front of me. Oh. Right, there we go. Right, there. there. Am I in? Yes. Right. <laughs> Revenge. That's <laughs> uh, quite funny. Charge! That is, that's quite satisfying, isn't it, really? <laughs> Let's mow them down. <laughs> I 
God, there's loads of them. Are they respawning? <laughs> there seem to be a lot of them. They keep coming out of the ground. Swarm subsiding. Right, there we go. Okay, so did I get one? Did it? Where's the other one? That oh, was over there. Charge! <laughs> Oh, sorry, I killed. It was a little bit of a. Okay, so that kind of did work. Right, uh, there's still one somewhere. Okay, right. <laughs> Save first. Okay, right, so let's do that. <coughs> let's drop in and drop out of the ship to save. Oh, there's another one over there somewhere. Where is it? Oh, it's on the other side of the thing. Okay. So in and out of Starbug, I think I've got the hang of this now. All right, let's just double check that is, okay, save. <laughs> save first, save first. Yeah, Wintermute GB, save, save every time. <coughs> right, okay, that's the save point. Right, have I got one? Did it work? Larval core, yes, right. Let's, let's rinse and repeat. Where did it go? Oh, where's the thing? Oh, it's disappeared. Oh, got me again. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> Try shooting two. Ouch. Okay, I died again. This is hard. <laughs> Let's have Verdi the Consumed. Storing lost inventory. Right. Okay. <laughs> now try shooting two. Yeah. So I well, I'm not sure this is the best location. There's there's a few more of them around there. So let's. I'm gonna try this one instead. All right. It's just that it disappeared, which was a bit irritating. There it is. Right. Got it. Right, and run, 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 run. In there. Yes. <laughs> Splat. Right now you're in trouble, my friends, because street horse is back. Where are you? I do want to. Have I got? I haven't got a laser on this thing. That would be even more fun. Let's just mow them down, though, because. Oh, you see that guy? He got some serious speed up. is definitely the way to do it. Uh, <laughs> um, nasty critter things. Swarm subsiding. Which I'll do what better be. Right, okay, so let's just keep mowing them down until they're all gone. Right, are there any left? No. Good. Right. Back to the ship. Save our position again. With a bit of luck. I've got two of those Richard things now. Yes. Okay, so save. <laughs> Death Race 2021. <coughs> there we go. Right. Okay, out we come again. Restore point save back into the Faithful Pilgrim. Back over there. Let's do that one more time and hopefully we'll be golden. It's all very stressful, isn't it? Whispering egg. Got it. Boom. Yes, 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 yes. Right. Right, now I've got all three. I don't really need to worry about these guys anymore, do I? Apart from I do want to get my resources back for that bay, so I'm gonna just murder them anyway because they've got it coming, haven't they? <laughs> it's a lovely feature though. I mean it's it's basically aliens, isn't it? But um <laughs> It is good. It is good. It's kind of it's it's almost a little bit once once I mean thank you guys for the tips as well. <laughs> Faster than the drurish, yeah. <laughs> it's um, a bit um 
once you figure out a way of doing it, it's a little, perhaps a bit easy, but it is good. It is good. Very atmospheric. I do like that they you can mow them down in a bike. <coughs> Splat. There we go. Right. Have I killed them all? Looks like I have. Job is a good one. Right. Okay. Let's slurp that back up again. Right. So Z, C, X. Cool. That worked. Yeah, they can't. Yeah, pitch black. That's right. I was just, I was just thinking that it was kind of like that. Right. So what do I do with these things? I've forgotten. <coughs> oh, the frame shift catapult. That's what I've got to do. Right. So boom, frame shift catapult. There we go. Uh, right. So now I've got to collect a warp cell or a warp hypercore to charge it up. Okay. So have I got enough stuff to make a warp cell. I need antimatter housing and some antimatter. For antimatter, oh, I need some chromatic metal and some condensed carbon. And for warp cell, I'm going to need antimatter housing, which requires ferrite dust. Have I not got some ferrite dust? Oh, I've got loads of magnetized stuff. Where did I put my... Um... Oh, there we go. We've just done the thing, of course. <coughs> Let's get that reward. Okay, so uh, two more things to do, and I've got like an hour. <laughs> Nine hundred ninety-nine nanites. Feels like there should be a song about that. Ninety-nine nanites floating in the summer sky. Um, okay, right. So I need to try, get uh, craft a warp cell. Actually, that, I've done the warp cell before. So that can't be that difficult. Uh, right, so I need to That needs antimatter housing and antimatter. Antimatter needs more chromatic metal, that's easy. Uh, antimatter housing needs some ferrite dust. There must be some rocks around here. I can just do that surely. Are there any just rocks around? Give me some rocks. I presume it's a plant. I haven't scanned it, of course. Scan that blood. Oh. Don't really need to do that at the moment. All right, let's find some rock. Well, there are actually some rocks. There we go. Very right, dust, perfect. <laughs> Loads of rocks. That's what we need. <coughs> Found a geode in there. Sodium. Lots of stuff. Just give me good old ferrite dust. Right, is that enough? Yes, loads of ferrite dust. Right, let's craft a uh, antimatter housing. Boom. Right, chromatic metal. Where is my? I think I left my. Uh, it's, it's all those magnetized ferrets. <laughs> Right, um, let's go back to the base. Where is that? Can I see it? What's that? Somebody's home base. Where is the... I didn't fly that far, did I? Greater Pusque, I don't know what that is. Where is the base I was looking at something that? Save beacon, resource depot. Um, my, my thumper wasn't mining copper, no, it found ammonia, which was kind of useful on the last planet, but not. I can't see the big towery thing, which is kind of annoying. I don't know which direction it was in. Hmm. I thought something that big could disappear, but it has. <laughs> oh, at least the daylight's come back. 
Um, thank you there for the um, um, subscription again, uh, Stumpy. And Fresh Balaclava, um, hello. Right, how can I find that massive base thing? What was it? It was the mission target. I don't know how to. Oh, it's gone dark again. It's weird. Now it's light again. Am I on the Terminator? That's quite cool. <coughs> Where is the starport base thing? <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> is that it over there? Doesn't seem to be. Hmm. Um, is there a way to locate it using the expedition thingy? I've reached the first rendezvous. I want to go back to the first rendezvous place, but I don't know where it is. Arconian also subscribed. Thank you very much for the subscription. I do appreciate it. Oh, that's, the, that's just another base. I should have taken note of which direction I was travelling in. Maybe that's it there. Don't think it is. It'd be quicker going to my base on the other planet. Yeah, it probably would be actually thinking about it, wouldn't it? Oh, well, that's a crashed. Look at that. That almost looks like the Enterprise. Um, I don't know what that is, but that's not what I was looking for. <laughs> it does have a landing pod. No, I suppose I better not get distracted. Hang on, I need to, need to focus. I don't know what that is. No, so it might be better going back. Um, yeah, it probably is. Let's let's do that. Um, where is my base? <laughs> there it is. Picork outpost. Let's have let's head back there. False engine engaged. That is a crash freighter. Let's get. Yeah, um, hello, Birdbrain. Good to see you as well. Um, this, I mean, oh, let me switch it into that mode because that really screws the stream up, doesn't it? <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, it really is. Um, there's so much stuff in here. I mean, I've, I've been playing this now for must be about three months, and no, it must be longer than that. Actually, three months, maybe a bit more than three months now, and um, I'm just not repeating anything. <laughs> <It's> <coughs> really quite impressed. It really. Um, okay, right, we're on course. Um, there's so many. Every time you know you turn the corner, there's a new thing which you haven't seen before, which is which is really really good. Um, so uh, yeah, one thing I'd say No Man's Sky has done is it's really nobbled this whole um, procedural generation of interesting things. It's very 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 clever. I think the whole experience of landing on these atmospheric planets and visiting stuff is, is also very, very good. Okay, so this is Gisto Major again, which is just a horrible, <laughs> horrible place. Um, but at least there's a landing pad, there we go. Okay, so I think I've got a thingy here that allows me to manufacture um, some chromatic ooh, weird ooh, there we go. Um looks like it's loading something there. Right, so hopefully over here is my portal. If I've come across yeah there it is. Right, so down here is my refiner. So I just need to make get rid of that. Some more chromatic metal I think, haven't I? And I should have loads of copper left over, I'm hoping. Uh, where's all my copper? Where's my copper? That's, that's a bit weird. Um, I had loads of copper, didn't I? Uh, Oh, I thought I had loads of copper. So I can't. I need a walk near antimatter. Need some chromatic metal. Hang on, I had loads of chromatic metal there. 
What's going on? I'm confused. Um, is it in the Starship? No. Is it in the Exocraft? No. Where was it? I saw it in the inventory somewhere. <coughs> That's odd. Um, <laughs> oh, hang on. Something funny's happened to my chat. What's going on? Hype, says somebody. That's very cool. <laughs> I've got like a flashy banner across the top. Level one complete. What have I, what have I done? Oh, I used it all. Did I use it all? Wow. Um, level two hype train thing. I don't know. <laughs> Someone's done something. It's very, very cool. Um, anyway, um, right. Don't use that. Uh, thank you for calling Abercase 64. Thank you for the follow. An hour is probably enough time to reach Rendezvous 2 and then jump to another system and save a freighter. Right, okay. So let's do that. Um, um, I'm trying to catch up with the chat now. It's in the other refiner. Nah, no, <laughs> didn't leave it over there, did I? Ah, okay. Um, right. So in that case, I need to go and find some copper. There must be some copper. About. Well, maybe I can buy from some from the space station. Let's try up there first. Oh, this game sometimes. Money deposit, silver deposit. It's trolling me now, isn't it? Um, silver deposit. <laughs> Copper deposit. There is one over there. All right, let's go and get that. Oh. Exocraft fuel at 20%. It's only 30 seconds away. Let's just refuel the Exocraft. Some carbon. Yeah, unfortunately, my mining rig there is only doing um, ammonia, which while it's quite useful for the um, protection, it doesn't really help with this problem. But anyway, look, there's some copper there. That looks like a decently sizable chunk of copper as well, which is excellent news. Okay. Whoa, why am I, why am I keep flying up in the air? It's a bit weird. Anyway. Let's have some of that copper. As long as those wretched sentinels don't turn up, we'll be, we'll be good. Okay, so how much copper do I need? It wasn't that much, was it? That's probably enough. Let's get back to the Nomad. <coughs> get back to the base, which is over the hill somewhere down there. There we go. Oh, an animal head butted me, did it? Hang on, I've scored the thingy up. Sorry, I'm uh, not paying much attention to the chat, which is very bad. Oh, for goodness sakes, finger trouble now. Right. <laughs> Calm down, Drew. There we go, right. Get a grip. Um, uh, Kesnick to subscribe. Thank you very much for the subscribe. I do appreciate that. Oh, they hit on the sentinels. Knew they wouldn't be too far away. Go into your ship interview. You have something that looks like a broken screen. Use that. Okay. Uh, I, think I'm, I think I'm golden now. I think I've got enough copper to make the chromatic metal, to make the antimatter, because chromatic metal, antimatter. Copper, here we go, right, slap that in there, make some chromatic metal. I think we only need 25 of those. How are we doing? It's 20 past, can I do this? Right, oh, got 26. Right. Craft some antimatter, yes. Craft some warp cell. Boom, we have a warp cell. Right now, we can get in the ship, can't we? Let's do this thing. <coughs> Luckily, you'll eventually reach a point in your main set where you'll have way too much chromatic metal. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I haven't been back to that main save in well, now I've just run out of stuff. I've got loads of ammonia, so we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Up, 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 up. Back to the spit. Back to the spaceship. Um. Up we go. Up we go. The spaceship is on the corner pad, I think. Not sure if the uh, etiquette of using your uh, thrusters to do that inside the uh, 
area, but hey. Right, so we should be able to get into space, I think. Warp to a new system, install a hyperdrive, which we've done. Fuel it with a warp cell, which we've done. Right, so let's, let's charge the hyperdrive. Or the frame shift catapult. <laughs> very, very naughty, I think. Funny, but very, very naughty. I received a level one hype train emote. Thank you for the level one high train emote. Oh, I don't what is that. <laughs> Thanks anyway. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Um, um, thank you very much. So what do I do? I, hang on a bit. So Twitch is doing something to me now. Uh, I need to share that. There we go. Uh, show off your support in the chat. Hooray, let the channel know you've earned a new hype train emote. Right, there we go. Choo choo with a dog. What's that? <laughs> no idea what that's all about. Ah uh, dear. Right, let's get into space. Let's do some space stuff. Um, right, we're in space. So X to get the the space menu, galaxy map. Boom, here we go. Um, <coughs> I would select the milestone for rendezvous two. Ah, good point. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, uh, that is a very good call. Okay, reach rendezvous tool. Reach the second rendezvous point. Okay, so that will be plotted in the galaxy map, which is in here, which is there, which is not that button. Oh, so it is that button. Right, so we're here. Where is... Where is the destination? Ah, there. Perfect. Right, okay. Select targeted system. Warp, here we go. Warp drive engaged. <laughs> Those are the scanner. Yeah, the scanner, the bird brain, does look, this does, does look suspiciously familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> um, it's funny, you can strip mine a planet resources, but don't break that rock over there. Um, right, so we're in the Rendezvous 2 system, and there's a, it's a space crystal thing. What's that? Can I shoot it? Yay. Yes, I can shoot it. Milestone complete. Right, went to light speed. Get us. This is something I think is staggeringly cool, that you can shoot a hole through an asteroid. I think this is still, I still think this is amazing. Um, and you can fly through the hole. I mean, <laughs> how cool is that? I wanted to do that since forever <laughs> in a space game. I think that is just fabulous. The fact that these, I mean, most of them explode. Oh, that's a new explosion. Check that out. Look, boom. Oh, God, that looks so much better. <laughs> Gonna fly around Judy Rocks a bit. Sorry, squirrel. Oh, this one's got a hole in it. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I've just overheated the laser. Yeah, but I can still fly. That is, that is so good. This is just this is just proper space cadet stuff. I mean, this is what you wanted to do when you were a kid, right? It's just, just, just absolutely fabulous. Don't tell me the odds. And look, I'm gonna shoot. We're never gonna make it. Yes, we are. Just, just trust me. We'll be fine. <laughs> Ta-da! That's so good. That is just so, so fantastically good. Sorry. All right, calm down. All right, we gotta get on with this expedition. <laughs> That's probably one of my favourite bits of the whole game, Max. <laughs> Love true scientific approach to new things. What's that? Can I shoot it? <laughs> Uh, I'm usually a little bit more calm. Right. Um, interested to collect that reward. What do we get? We get Supreme Hyperdrive Upgrade and a Specialist Warp Blueprint. Yay! <coughs> okay. Cadmium Drive and Emerald Drive and Indium Drive. Okay, that allows us to hyperdrive to different coloured stars. I do remember that. Okay, so I must be nearly there. Right, rendezvous. We reach the second rendezvous. Each expedition has several marked rendezvous. The suggested path to rendezvous is marked on the galaxy map. A significant journey, but we're here, aren't we? 
Uh, she is there. There it is. Rendezvous two. Let's 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 go. Boom. Doesn't have the last starfighter. But yeah, we, what was that? that? What was that called? Starburst mode or something? Um. <coughs> oh, it's, it's on a separate planet. Oh, I just realised I shouldn't be doing that for the stream because it kind of kills it. But there we go. Right, we're here. Beginning suborbital flight. Where's the? Okay. Uh, do we lose the? Oh, there's one two. two. I think we, we're, we're going to make this with plenty of time to spare, aren't we? Death Blossom, that was it. Death Blossom. Oh, this looks cool. Look at that. Look at that cool plant. I like that. Did I shoot it? <laughs> uh, oh, I think I flew into that one. <coughs> right. Approximate location. So... Mission destination reached. Now, sometimes it's big enough that you can see it from the spaceship, but maybe not. Let's land anyway, because it looks like a very cool planet. There's more flappy flying things. Death Blossom. This is a very pretty planet if you don't mind the occasional boiling rain, says Julia. Okay. Oh, save game. Dun 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 the I just did the Jaws theme. <laughs> um, <laughs> because right, okay. There's lots of loads of flappy things about. Let's let's scan a few flappy things while we're here. Well, that one's actually landed. That's quite cool. Right, so there's a few. That is a very cool plant, which doesn't. What's that called? It's called I saw this in the cartoon. <laughs> Does that mean somebody somebody's already named it? Discovered by Mike, that intrepid explorer of deep space. <laughs> uh, quite funny. Anyway, quite cool. Right, so um, somewhere nearby, there should be a target. Okay, it's in that direction. Let's wander over. Scan some of the rocks. They have creative names as well. Okay. This one is also a stone man. <laughs> also discovered by Mike. There's a hole there as well. Okay, what's this one called? Zzz. You gotta stop scanning stones, <laughs> says Mike. <laughs> uh, you multiplayer people, you. It's a stone, dude. <laughs> I like the way he's gone to the trouble of uploading them. <laughs> Good old Mike. <laughs> Uh, cool. Well, I can't have scanned that tree. What's this one called? It's a palm. <laughs> and that one? Oh, that one. That one is a palm. <laughs> Mike has obviously <laughs> had a lot of fun uh, whenever he managed to get to this point of the expedition. It's a, it's a rock. Yeah, I suppose it is. Uh, let's get to the top of this hill. It's a stone man. <laughs> what about this tree? Is he giving this a funny name? Mike calls it a z <laughs> just lots of sevens. It's obviously got bored by this point. <laughs> uh, good old Mike. Right, am I still heading in the right direction? No, it's off to the left. It's over that way. It's in through these trees. This is, this, ah, 
Watch out for the holes in the ground. Uh, oh, there's another rock. We scanned this rock. Yeah, we have. Some quite cool. Oh, look, these things glow in the dark. Look at that. That's an. I saw this in a cartoon plant. That's really cool. Look, it glows. How kind of sci-fi is that? That's. That's really neat. Anyway, uh, squirrel. <laughs> Let's get on through. This. It's quite nice to actually see some really tall vegetation. Um, the camera angle doesn't really work there, but. It's nice to see some big trees, actually. There we are. What's this one called? Six, 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 six. Oh, that's a Mufat. <laughs> Discovered by Mike. Mike's Mufat. Um, <laughs> through these trees, I believe you mean through these seven, 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 seven. Yep, that's exactly what I meant. Right. Okay. Target sweep active. We still haven't got there yet. Um, oh, that's one of those poisonous plant things. Let's just shoot that because they're evil. Uh, it's through here somewhere. Yep. There's another unidentified plant. Let's just scan that because. In case Mike giving it a cool name. Now that was discovered by dudes. Mike didn't get that one. Look at that, 777. <laughs> uh, class. Oh, hello. Is this it? No, it's just a pod thing. Target aligned. There's something. Oh, that's on those pesky sentinels. Okay, well, I haven't been shooting anything much. I've been good. All right, here's another rock. This one is a rubbi. Well, I think it means a ruby. <laughs> Good old bike. Okay, let's zap these poisonous plants. Just out of principle. Right, where are we going? Okay, this seems to be. I don't seem to have got to it yet. Give me a, little, a nice little walk through this very pleasant countryside. Past the past the rabbi. <laughs> you should have just saved everything, Mike. That would have been that would have been quite funny. He's named that one. Okay, onwards we go. An identified plant. Oh hang on, better scan that then. The George W. Bush. Ah <laughs> uh, dear. Ah, uh, we shame, shame, shame. We haven't got Mike on the stream. Really, <laughs> that would be really cool. That was discovered by somebody else, and they're giving it a proper name. Very, very dull. I'm still heading in the right direction. I haven't got a range indicator yet. <laughs> Don't eat berries in the bush. <laughs> they leave you tongue. Oh, hello. Hello. There we go. That must be it. It's going to be a sign. You know, like in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, where they finally find God's last message to his creation. It's going to be like that, isn't it? It's going to be, <laughs> we apologise for the inconvenience. <laughs> did you see a George W. Bush? You did. <laughs> Look at that. That's a flying bee thing. Look at the size of that. That's quite cool. That was discovered by Mike as well. <laughs> you are cute. <laughs> I'm not sure that's cute is quite what the word I would use. Look at the size of that thing. It's like a massive bee. <laughs> it's huge. I can have my own flying bee, but it's Mike's. You know, Mike's been Mike's been there and done that. <coughs> All right, here we're here. I'm guessing that's it. 
rendezvous lo located. There we are. You can tame those and fly on them. Yep. So this is this is it. This is the final. And people have left messages. What are these going to be like? There we are. We have reached the second rendezvous. Dan, dan, da. Re title Globemaster, Cartographer's Expedition to Gals, Cartographer's Expedition Banner Customization. I think that's it. Biological Horror Egg Companion. Is that the, is that's the, that's the thing, isn't it? <laughs> I watched the other stream that made it to the portal and the comms meshes that came up first just said disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointment. Let's go and see what these other people have said. Um, how do you activate these things? Do you just place by traveller? It basically says. Gzz. That doesn't say anything. How do you get the communications thing to. I thought they just pop the messages up on their own. Do they not do that? I've seen it. It's rubbish. Congrats, you well done. Anyway, we made it. Let's 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 do it. Let's parade up the centre here. Hi. Oh no, there it goes. It is working. Um, so, would you kind of get close to it and? Oh, it goes one one one. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, one one one. That one is. <coughs> oh, that one doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let's try another one. Thanks for all the fun. Three, 13 times from Utah. This is quite cool, isn't it? Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Don't know. Place by Traveller. Where's Mike? Oh, HKPDM. No idea what that means. Stay a while and listen. Bearer, seek, seek, list. Who knows? Lance Dingo. <laughs> a few people have clearly been here before me. Uh, Riguton Sooks. Hey there, glad you make it here. Yay! Here, welcome, fellow travellers. Anyway, there we go. We have arrived at the portal. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> anyway, that's awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> I wonder if Mike built one. He probably did. He probably did. There we go. That is, that is really good. I enjoyed that. And I've, it's kind of like, whoa, I'm here now. Um, let's scan a few of these things while we're here because they kind of look cool. A bunch of fine things. Wow. I do actually feel. I do actually feel a, a genuine sense of accomplishment. I mean, I know you guys basically helped me throughout, uh, <laughs> without which I would have been very, um, uh, very lost at many times. Um, but, hi, oh, hang on, is that a cutscene? No, nope, just hi. Is that massive flying bee? Um, yeah, like I said, collect phase five reward. There we are. Okay, title Globe Master. <coughs> Next system you jump into will have a freighter battle. Ooh. Okay, that sounds quite cool. Um so final phase is, is that, that okay, click click reward. There we go. Reward is a biological horror companion egg, which I think is the reward for the entire um entire thing isn't it globe master alessia verdi there we go wow and i've got a new egg i've got an egg there we go distance travel 55 light years north systems map distance walked and that's received units received wow i think i, I feel get all your things and gg <laughs> those rewards you can get from the anomaly on your other save for a zero cost okay completing an expedition is in the comments thank you there for, can you do four um and save off so uh, to get the rewards on your other save go to the quick silver companion on the nexus um okay is there a nexus in this system um because it's probably worth me going and doing that isn't it but what a, what a cool thing that is that is very good i really enjoyed that that was a really good 
adventure. I feel like I've definitely been on an adventure. I definitely feel like I've achieved something. That was a very cool experience. Um, wow. Boom. <laughs> very nice. Um, thank you very much for all the congratulations, by the way. I do appreciate that. Uh, Web Metal Reads, yes, completed it. Um, yeah, and thanks for all the help. That was that was very, very cool. And obviously Mike at the end. <laughs> that was very good. Right, where is my spaceship? Can I can I summon it? Uh, yes. Let's see if we can find a nexus. Uh, and the save will convert to a regular save once the time elapses. Okay. Uh, you need to be in the save you want the rewards in. Uh, so, hang on a minute. To get the rewards on your other save, go to the Quicksilver Companion on the Nexus. Does that mean I need to go into my other save and then go to the Quicksilver, or do I need to go to the Quicksilver Companion in this save? Let's go. Let's head up to the Nexus anyway. Bowsers. Not enough fuel. I thought I had loads of fuel. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I bought some. There we go. Off we go. Wowzers! We did it. Oh, so I need to be in my other save. Right, okay. Um, okay, well, let's just, while we're here, let's do what Julia said. Let's system you jump into, we'll have a freighter battle. Although I, that would mean me crafting more um, antimatter, wouldn't it? I don't know if I can do that. I've got enough to make antimatter housing. Have I got enough to make antimatter? Oh, guess what? I need some more chromatic metal. Now, somebody said something about me being able to build a, 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 a portable or a personal refiner, for which I also need chromatic metal. Okay, so I should have built one of those. Okay. So let's let's do, because I've got a few minutes now at the end of the stream. Only way to get the things, any save you play will have to claim, but they will always be there. <coughs> Modify your egg in the space anomalies incubator before hatching it. Okay, so let, let me just go back to my base, which actually no, it's not even in the star system, is it? So I can't do that. How am I? <coughs> Have I got carbon on me? I've got one chromatic. Where's my carbon? Did I leave that back in the... I bet I left it back, didn't I? Yes, I did. I've left my carbon, not my carbon, my copper back wherever it was we started from. Woo. Now we're crashing on the planet. So unless there's some carbon on the uh, copper on this planet, which there might be, I'll we'll have to go and find it. Or we can just try the space station. Is there a space station? Let's have a look. Don't lose or sell the station override route. You will need it later. What was the station override? Mm, don't know. Um, is there a space station in the system? Is the question. That looks like one there. Yay. Okay, let's go to the space station. <coughs> See if we can just do this hyperspace jump. I quite like the idea of seeing a... You already have the stuff in this save, but visiting the next is never a bad idea. So I need to be in the save on the rewards. True, right. Okay, go to the space station portal back. Good point. That is definitely the, that is definitely the thing to do. Yeah, I keep forgetting about the portals. The portals are so handy, aren't they? Yes, because I can just go back to my, my refiner, can't I? Boom. Yes. Well done, whoever suggested that. Um, Harkonnen won. Well done. That was a good. That was a very good call. I keep forgetting what I can do. There's so many ways of doing things. So there's the teleport over there, isn't there? I can just go there. Yeah, hey, some gex. Haven't seen them for a while, either. Right, this should be able to take me back to my base. Is the Oftuza base, I think. 
go back there, pick up my chromatic metal, refuel the hyperdrive, and then we can go for a jump. Yay. <coughs> Nobody knows what the station override is for. Speculation will enable you to control the space station somehow, but manage expectations. Ooh, that could be quite good. Um, you should still have enough fuel. I don't. Th I think it said I was out of fuel. Maybe I wasn't. Never mind. I'll double check that in a minute. Shadow Wyvern also gave me the teleporter, um, uh, the portal trick. Yes. Thanks, guys. Well done. Um, <coughs> I should have enough fuel. I only did one jump. Okay. Maybe I. I just assumed that one jump emptied the tank. Maybe it doesn't. If you use it on this save, it says it's a counterfeit. Ooh. Okay, anyway, we're here. So, where is my little refiner? There it is. So, I think. Yeah, you see, look. Let's just make some. <coughs> Doesn't matter anyway, I can have some more antimatter. Chromatic metal seems to be <coughs> a totally handy, useful thing, actually. So let's just double check, actually. Um, I don't know why I didn't do that last bit. There we go. Right. Um, OK, so the frame shift isn't empty. Actually, it's still got an illegally modified warp drive. So I could make this backpack refiner couldn't I if I wanted to personal refiner oh I need more oxygen or maybe I'll do this at some point right okay in that case <laughs> now I haven't got any power because it's night time dark hours remain in 10 minutes <laughs> typical does my spaceship come along with it? It has. There we go. Just jump in the spaceship and go warping somewhere anyway. Right, let's do that. Because <laughs> this is a thoroughly miserable planet, and I won't be—I won't be um, unhappy to see the back of Gisto Major. I can jump from the system, said Julia. Let's do that. Yep. Yeah. Good call. Let's go to the galaxy map. Let's just do a jump because doesn't matter where I go, does it just like anywhere will do? What's this line mean anyway? It just seems to is that can I go there? Just not back to OG's. Right, let's go there then. Engage warp factor two. Okay, fingers crossed for a decent freighter. Let's see what happens. <coughs> oh, is this when I have to defend the freighter? Ah. The captain is so happy for me that he just gives me a freighter. <laughs> oh, look at that. They look pretty cool. Battle detected, yes. Well, let's wade in, shoot some bad guys. Nearby freighter under attack. Destroy the pirates. Yay. Which ones are the... Where are they? Oh, come on, shooting me already. There's one. Have some of that. they've given you quite a good ship haven't they so
feel my gun is quite OP. <laughs> oh, um, there's one left out there. There we are. Boom. Starships defeated. Bosh. <coughs> now all these pirates smuggling magnetized ferrets. Hailing frequencies open. Okay, so presumably unpronounceable stuff. The life form who must be the captain of the looks greatly relieved. looking freighter. <coughs> I prefer the beam lasers as well, Julia, you're quite right. Yep. This is quite nice that I've got a, a slightly different save though actually in parallel to the other one. So um, there we go. I presume I'm going to be awarded a freighter for my great valiant defence. Hightail up the stairs. Drew around to the, there to the left. Whoosh, whoosh. Captain Plant Sets. <laughs> there he is. Look, he looks bored and tired and no longer wants to be manning a freighter, doubtless. A battle cry, celebrating our victory, I hope. Uh, it just draws the control panel as if to say, like, take command. Go on now, let's inspect the thing. There we go, the SV Om, Om, Omitsusu. Fantastic, let's have, a, let's have a freighter. There we go, boom, we have a freighter as well. Take my ship. <laughs> if you don't like this freighter, pulse drive away and hyperjump again, you'll be in another freighter battle. I've got <laughs> Dolinsky. Captain Pla... <laughs> Actually, it's not Pla, is it? It's, it's Piante. Sure. Piante sets. Right, there we are, and I can do stuff on board the freighter. Fantastic, another freighter. Right, what do I have to do? Tell me, tell me again, it's an A-rated freighter, is it? I didn't even look at that. Um, this is probably a quite a lot better than the freighter I started off with. So how do I, oh, I just look at that, that's a freighter. Yeah, look at that, it's an A-class freighter. Ooh, get me. Um, I need to give that, oh, it's not the Red Dwarf, is it? Um, it's quite a cool looking ship, actually. Um, <laughs> pants sets. <laughs> Anyways, we got a decent ship. That's good. Um, now, what do I need to do with the other save? Um, let me just go back into the chat here. Um, right, so you need to be in the save you want the rewards in, Shadow Wyvern was saying. You already have the stuff in this save, but if it's in Nexus, it's never a bad idea. So, Nick, uh, what do I need to do then? Do I need to... To get the rewards on your other save, go to the Quicksilver Companion on the Nexus. Right, okay, so I'm going to go out of this save, I'm guessing. Quit to mode select. Yep. <coughs> Play the game. And load my other save, which I haven't been into for yonks. do that. <coughs> oh, go save before you switch. Did I not save? I thought I did. I thought it said it was only one minute ago. Oh, oh well. I'll, um, I'll check. Uh, you can't combine them sadly, so which you will run as your main. So this one is still my kind of, I haven't been here for ages. Look, this is my, this is my save. Um, so <laughs> I forgot how everything was. Let's let's go. Um, I can't, oh yes, my base. I've forgotten about this. My spaceship's just parked out here, isn't it? Let's the old Salome too. Um, let's go to the Nexus then. Because somewhere in here I've got a freighter as well. It saves when you accept the freighter. Okay, well, that's cool. There we go. That's going to say thank you very much, Judah. That's good. 
It did also save when I claimed the freighter. That's that's that is good news. So can I can I transfer that ship into this save somehow? Or is it just an alternative save that I have to kind of play with separately? Okay, let's go into so what do I, what was it called again? The something in the Nexus. <coughs> this is so cool as well, this just looks amazing. It's just like whoa. Sci fi. Whoa. Inertia dampeners. Okay, so functionally not okay, so you can't do that. So what what am I <laughs> that okay, so what am I actually doing? Uh, uh To get the rewards in the other say go to the Quicksilver Companion on a Nexus. Okay, Quicksilver Companion. Where's the where's that? Anytime you can get to the right of the mission console. Okay, let me get in here then. This feels really weird because I haven't been back this way for like over a month. So it's like I can't remember what's going on. Uh, so hang on. He's next to the cube thing. Where's that? Is that upstairs? On the other side. Down this way then, is that right? Go back out. Right, I'm going down the bottom again. Right, where you land. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, let's go back to the spaceship then. Oh, that's the cube thing. Right, okay, I see what you mean. Right, so where well, the silver silver dude? Where's he? Um, you <laughs> fast him. Oh, this guy. Right. I don't know if I've ever spoken to this guy before. Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. Okay. Create Collect Expedition Awards. Okay, let's have those in here then. There we go. Okay, so I get all these things. Right, so what do I do? Just accept them. Okay, so I can have some of the stuff here. Golden Victor, complete expedition one, which, okay, so I can't do any of these because they've already passed. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Golden Victor, see, I'd like an exclusive spaceship. But, hey. Okay, there we go. Right, so we've done that. <laughs> previous expeditions, yeah, so I missed out on the previous expeditions. Um... And then we need to hatch an egg and, and, and stuff. Wowzers. Okay. Um, awesome. Well done. There we go. <laughs> feel like I've achieved a thing. Uh, it would be nice. I would love to have that, um, the Normandy spaceship, the SS Normandy. That would be really cool to be able to get back and play, have that again. That would be really good. Let's just jump in and jump out of the spaceship to save it. Um, that would be really good. Thank you very much, everybody. I really, really enjoyed that. That was that was awesome that was a real adventure that was really really good um, just in terms of um, things to do things to learn I learned a lot about the game actually just by doing I think that's the good thing about those expeditions is they're still teaching you more stuff that's that's really nice um, and the the art style and the graphics and the fun and some of it was a bit you know the pacing was a bit off but you know in general that was a fantastic experience you know just learning new things and being forced to do things that you probably wouldn't otherwise have done so um there's lots of optimizations i can bring back and the experience i've learned there in the in that save that i can now bring into my major save so um we'll see we'll see <coughs> very very good very good anyway thank you very much for everybody online who's been helping with my expedition so any success i have achieved is all down to you guys so well done um you have successfully tutored a 51 year old newbie through <laughs> through his first expedition that was really really good um so that was fantastic thank you very much for all your assistance i really appreciate the company that was really really good um and yeah so anyway so next week we'll crack on with a bit more kind of normal no man's sky but um 
Um, and we'll see what else is lying in wait for us to discover. Not bad for an old man, eh? <laughs> Yeah, it was a very good diversion. I enjoyed that. I thought that was a very, very well put together addition to the game. I think they should definitely do more than that. That was really, really good. Thanks to the wonderful adventure, Sir Julia. No, my pleasure, my pleasure. Um, so um, yeah, so I, I just, I thought that was excellent. I really enjoyed that. That was really good fun. Um, so um, yeah, let's find out what's, got, what's going on next week. So there we go. Uh, <laughs> 47 so I shouldn't talk anyway my friends you be good have a fantastic rest of the week get to the weekend enjoy the weekend I'll also see you on Saturday for some Wing Commander 2 we've now moved on to game number 2 um, and then back on Monday for my normal sci-fi fantasy stream and back next Thursday for more No Man's Sky Gra, my friends fellow interlopers be good I'll see you soon <laughs> take care now <laughs>